What's going on everyone? Welcome to another Keyshot Quick Tip. In this video, we'll take a look at some of Keyshot 10's awesome new lighting UI and learn about the all new Light Gizmos feature. Along with many other helpful and intuitive UI changes made in Keyshot 10, we've also updated our physical lights and light controls. In previous versions, adding physical lights to your scenes required assigning a light material to a piece of geometry already in the workspace. Keyshot 10 has simplified this even further with a new one-step lighting solution that allows you to add a light independent of an existing piece of geometry. To do this, simply click on the Edit dropdown above the ribbon, open the Add Light Flyout menu, choose the type of physical light you would like to add, and it will automatically populate your scene. Adding physical lights in Keyshot 10 is now as easy as adding geometry, making the process more streamlined and easier than ever. Not only has Keyshot 10 streamlined applying lights, it has also streamlined the lighting process. If you've already applied physical lights in Keyshot 10, you may have noticed a change to the visible wireframe that accompanies each light type. These new wireframes are called light gizmos and they are entirely unique to Keyshot 10. Essentially, light gizmos act as visual editing tools which allow for direct manipulation of light sources entirely from the real-time view. Although each physical light has different light gizmos and adjustable settings, they all operate on the same principles. Let's take a look at our spotlight to get a better idea of what light gizmos really are. Notice that with the spotlight light type applied, there are two visible circles projected onto the ground plane. Both of these emanate from a single point located in the center of my light source. By grabbing one of the handles on the outer circle and dragging, you can make adjustments to the light's beam angle, which can be seen reflected in the material property settings located in the project panel. By adjusting the inner circle, you have control over the degree of falloff created by your spotlight. There is also a blue handle located in the center of the circles. By dragging the handle up or down, you can adjust the projection distance of your light gizmo so the adjustable circles accurately reflect the lit area on a ground surface or object surface of your choice. Finally, light gizmos also allow you to control the radius of a spotlight by clicking the point centered on the light source and dragging outward. By doing this, a third circle will appear that illustrates the overall radius of the spotlight you are adjusting. As I mentioned a moment ago, each physical light has slightly different variations of these adjustment parameters, but each one essentially functions in the same manner, making light adjustments easy and intuitive across multiple lighting options. Thanks for watching this Keyshot quick tip. If you're interested in more useful Keyshot content, hit that subscribe button and get notified as soon as new videos hit the channel. Don't forget to let us know your thoughts on this tutorial in the comment section below, and if you found this video useful, give it a like and share with your friends.